Hey guys, what's up? It's Pierre Manier. Welcome on a new video about theory how to set your DLG. Let's go. So today we will talk about how to set the CG correctly and like last time, we'll use this, this little glider on top of this trophy. So a little bit of history, um, this trophy I won it at um, a World Cup uh, at Vercelli in Italy in 2016. Uh, so yeah, quite a lot of memory for me, but pop this off and let's go. So we'll use this little glider to talk about the CG, how to set your CG and what it is. So the CG is the point of balance of your glider. So if your glider balances great, like this, it's you found your CG. So the CG is the center of gravity, so it's the point of rotation of your glider. If it's too much on the rear, it will be really twitchy. If it's too much on the front, it will be like a girouette. I don't know if you use this word in English, but anyway. Um, it will be really locked on its nose and it will be really difficult to maneuver because it will be too much on the front and uh, it's like a fat truck. <laughs> so like this, it's it's like an, an Jack Russell on cocaine <laughs> and like this, it's like a big bus. <laughs> so yeah, um, you you understand what I mean, I think. Uh, so yeah, how to find the sweet spot. Uh, the sweet spot is when it's nimble but stable enough to to get the good flight performance and it's in a stable to let you look around like this to look for thermals, for birds, for other glider turning in the air maybe if you fly with many people. So yeah, how to set this. I heard many people said you should do a 45 degree test dive and uh, if no go nose go up your CG is too much forward, if nose goes down it's too much rearward. Mm, it's maybe true for a slope glider which weigh 2 kilos or 5 pounds if you are measuring in pound. Yeah, I think it's 5 pounds. Yeah, something like this. And um, it's maybe true for this type of glider. Mm, for me, for my, from my point of view, it's not true for DLG. Um, DLG is cruising at maybe... How much is it in miles per hour? <laughs> I don't know, but it's around 20 to 25 kilometers per hour in gentle cruise. Maybe 30 if you are pushing it a bit more. And when you dive at 45 degrees, you are at... I don't know, maybe 70 to 80 kilometers per hour, so around 45 to 50 miles per hour. So it's not the same speed at all. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's really too fast because if your glider is correctly set for cruising speed, and we'll talk just after how to know if it's set correctly for cruising speed. Um, if it's set correctly for cruising speed, your glider will just nose up in a 45 degrees dive. So, why? I, because I told you already, his cruise speed is around the half or the third of uh, this, this, this dive speed. So, it should not, could not be the same attitude as um, in cruise. To know if your CG is correctly set for cruising, uh, because it's what we do in the LG, launching, cruising, thermally, and landing. <laughs> and all your surface uh, should be at neutral, so wings, er so everyone's perfectly in line with tabs, and elevator perfect perfectly neutral, so to know if your elevator is neutral, just look to it from the back and you should get the same amount of 
material above and under the trailing edge. So you should be able to do that. If it's not at one or two click of tri elevator trim, it's okay. Don't worry, it's not that accurate um, to get the good CG. So you should cruise, have a good cruise, standard. If your gliders go on tail like this, your CG is a bit too rearward. If it dive a bit, have a tendency to accelerate, a bit bubble, accelerate, a bit bubble, your CG is a bit too much forward. So what you're looking for is just it cruise at a good speed, that's it. It's how to set your CG in a basic way. But um, what we do the most of time is cruising, yes, but thermally. And how to know if your glider has a good CG to thermal. Usually you can set your CG at in a good range with the technique of cruising. But it's way more accurate in thermaling. So if your glider tends to nose up a lot and stall, your CG is a bit too railroad, maybe one or two millimeters. Or maybe you are pulling way too hard. Just a quick note, your, your amount of elevator should not exceed 12 millimeters maximum. It's really the high maximum. Over this, it doesn't work. Or work really badly. Uh, 10, 8 to, to 10 millimeters is really fine. If you think you need more elevator is maybe because your snap flap is not well set up or maybe because you are used to fly 3d plane i don't know but uh, we'll talk about snap flap in the next video so uh, and if your glider is nose nose down all the time when you are turning the nose is just uh, you can't pull up maybe your cg is a bit too much forward or maybe you have not in a elevator travel, maybe you need something like more like 8 or 10 millimeters because you are maybe at only 6 millimeters. So check all of this and I think you will be really fine. So yeah, that was my quick video about how to set your CG. I really hope it helped you to fly better and enjoy even more your day when you are flying your DLG. Thank you a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and see you in the next video. Bye!